Hello and welcome. As we promised, we are going to do a lot of best practice during developing our application. So in this video, I'm going to create a component for the navigation of our website and I will use the bootstrap for navigation. So if I come here, we already have a navigation which is not any, it does, does, does not have any design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the component folder here. We have already the hello world component which contain all of this extra information. So I will get rid of them and we don't need any message here. So this is going to be the default template and what you can do is you can always come to this one. Okay, let me remove the CSS also. We don't need that. You can come always to the hello world component and control shift save. You can save as this one as any component you are going to create for your application and then you can customize it. So what I'm going to give it, we can give it a name of navbar or navbar.view. That's it. And here is the navbar. You can just give it a name of navbar. When you export and import, it is very important that you give it a name and you can uh, take this from the name you gave here. As well as you can, you don't need to have this one, the hello, but you can give it any custom name so later you can design it with bootstrap so what you can do is we can come to the documentation i will search for the navbar here is the navbar and i will take one of the examples they have here this is going to be the basic example you click on the copy and of course i will customize it so i will put the code here i don't need the form here but let it be there the form should be there we will remove the disable and the link the drop down which is going to be this one i believe so the home and disabled okay we will remove this too and it should work just fine as well as we don't need this one it is fine home and there is a link and the search should be there we might use the search functionality later so if i save it of course this is not going to work because we have just created the component we have not used it anywhere so how you are going to use this one i am going to come to the home the home page here before i go to the home let's open the app you know this is the default navigation here we have so i'm going to remove the navbar and i'm going to add our navbar here how you are going to add that you can just write navbar component here we didn't import it here so what you can do is there are different ways you can import it the best way to import like if you want to use this anywhere in your application as we have already discussed you can import it globally how you can do that one you can open the main.js here you can import it using the view.component so how you are going to do that you write view dot component oops and this is going to accept two parameters the first parameter is going to be the name of your component and the second parameter is going to be the link or the reference to your component so the name is going to be navbar and you can require in the same place and what it is going to do is it is going to the component which can, you can give it the current directory go to the component and here we have navbar.view so what you can do is you can save it for now if I come here it didn't work we import that and let's see if it is going to render it no it didn't so if you check out the compiled version it did compile everything down but it is not showing here if it is the same for you what you can do is you can write default at the end of the oops I think the spelling is wrong the fault yeah it's correct if you save it this time and you come here let's see yeah it is working just fine now why it work with the default you append default to the require function it is because of the naming you put here if you don't know how it is going to work 
you can just search around class and import in ES6 and you can watch some video on YouTube uh, I might create a video about this one but how it is going to work is it is going to take the default name for your component from here when you export it we just give it a name of navbar that's why when you import it you should append the default here and it's going to take the name and put it here so that is how it is going to work so now as you can see it is working just fine the design is fine but in the next video we will of course customize it more for now what i am going to add to the navbar is we give it a view shop name mm, name for the navbar here we have the home we have the about instead of the home and about what you can do is you can of course always use the same link that view router is going to provide so you can remove this one you can say mm, router link and it is going to is going to accept two and the two is going to go anywhere you want so for this one it is going to the home you don't have to put the href here so if you save it let's see if it works just fine yeah, it works just fine for now and it is going to the home which is nowhere uh, which is going to the home if you check out the router here of course home is the same directory and the next one for the about so what you can do is let's say this is the about and I will remove the active from here for now it is just fine I will uh, fix it in the future video how you can add the active for the current navigation so I will remove the a and again we use the router link and it is going to about so if you save it let's see if it compile down if it is stuck here okay we have an error so let's see what is the error here router link router link so if we read the error it is said no matching in the yeah okay there is the problem like we close something router link should end here if you save it again let's see the compile and you press enter again it is going to recompile and this was this time it is successful and if you refresh your page yeah it is going to work just fine this is the home component and this is the about component this is the about page and it is going to of course by default it is going to load the home from the view home and about component i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video regarding the Vue.js. So that's that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how we can add more functionality to our website.